going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're here in photoshop and i'm going to be showing you how to get the text or number effect you see in the thumbnail of this video all right so once again we're in photoshop and don't forget this is asas studio so let me take you to the process now first of all get the image you want to use either a male or a female a portrait or a full photo of the person and also you can also use the first letter of the person's name or whichever or the age but for this one i'm going to be using the number two all right so first of all before doing that let's select the let's cut out the subject so go to select subject now that the subject is selected it's ctrl j on the keyboard to duplicate the layer now you can you know get rid of this one so this is one we're going to be working with so first of all let's reduce the size now let's bring up the transform tool and then reduce the size accordingly to how we want it so i'm going to shrink that photo just like this and i'm going to take it up to the middle and let's bring it back up a little so something like this this is good to me you can also bring it small or bring it lower oh, okay let's still take it down a little bit so this looks cool to me all right so now select that now what you want to do next thing is to create another layer of this one duplicate layer ctrl j and now you're going to select the color you want to stand out so either the yellow or the red in this case the red so go to filter and select select color range and when you select color range i will actually make selection of this one but you know just click on this plus two and you know click on the color you want to be selecting and you can increase the fuzziness or decrease the fuzziness and you no know, it's an okay so now selection is being made now after making the selection you're gonna hit ctrl j to get only that selection so you see that i have only the selection so i'm gonna hit ctrl j now after that you can get rid of this one now there are two things you will do for this layer i'm going to create a black and white so you can create a black and white layer black and white oh we got rid of that layer right yes so now for the black and white layer let's turn this off and i'm going to create a stem visible layer for this one ctrl shift alternate e now creating a stem visible layer the reason why is because i wanted i want to get some of the head or the parts of the body of the model i want it to stand out but before you do that let's go back to the image and you know sort things out now for this one you know when we make the selection these are the only parts that are actually red and you know it's actually not showcasing this one very well okay so i'm going to if we turn on the black layer you see that the lips is showing so let's you know click on this brush tool and this time around we're going to paint on the mask so ctrl z paint on the max like i said we want to hide the color from some places just like this and make it small yours might be different yours you might not need that and i'm going to eat x to remove it from some places like that especially this one so let's erase it from you no know, somewhere just the eraser too I'm just gonna erase this one out of the way okay so now we're going good okay so now we have it like this now we're going to select it back and then create a stem visible layer control shift Alt e to create a stem visible layer and what i'm going to do with this one i'm going to turn it off first of all and then let's see let's go select this one and then go to the text tool i'm going to close this one and then select create a text which is number two so i'm gonna hit the key, the left click and then write two and let's zoom in to see uh, later which is very small at the moment i'm gonna drag it out to make it bigger so you can see our text too i can drag it bigger a little bit bigger and more bigger and more bigger so something like this and i'm going to bring it small let's bring it small take it back a little bit zoom in and drag it till we have it in the middle so i guess it's in the middle right now 
and you can actually still make it you know bigger like this but whichever way just a little bit bigger and let's drag it to put it centralize it make sure it's at the center okay so now it's at the center of the image you can actually hit the up key to take it up a little bit whichever like okay so i go with that it's on the okay button and now we have this one so let's see what we can do now this is the later i'm going to drag it below this the first layer i've created i'm going to turn the rest off so we know you know what i'm talking about and now you're going to hold down alt and clip it to the number two and also clip this one to the number two so you have to you clipped and now i'm going to turn this one on and select it and then create a mask and in fact the mask now once you in fact the mask you can actually make some places show you want so i'm just going to expand select the brush to expand the brush and i'm going to paint over where i want the image to show so somewhere here i'm going to make that place show like this and also make this place show like this like it's resting all right so that's the only place i want to show and you can turn this back on and the reason why this is on you can see now you can drag it below this one the layer and you can clip it and you have your image back all right so that's what we want to achieve now one last thing is to create a background color for it so let's create a background solid color and click ok for that so drag it below all layers and you can have it like this now you can select any other color now before that you can click on this one this first layer and the one below it and you can actually create you and saturation slider after creating your saturation slider you can change the color let's clip it I forgot to clip it clip it to that and you can change the color of what the picture there so I'm gonna leave it at that and then I'm gonna select this one and then you know pick a color from it and then click on OK so this is how to achieve that you see and now you can you know write the text on top and write select it and you can bring it down just a little bit or drag it to where you see number two and then this one turn it off and you can see the image we have we got so bring it down a little and then we have number two portrait so if you feel like oh you want to use a different number you can go back to this one and then right click and then you can click on it and you know what to do change number three you can change number four whichever way you want to see it all right change number five change number six change number eight so whichever one you want to get so thank you guys for watching see you in the next video thank you